story of Love SOS starts with an email received on the beautiful day of June 2016. It's from Xavier. Would I be interested to sing on one of the tracks for their third studio album, Woman? The track was called Fire. The song was almost ready with Gaspar on the vocals and all the verses, hooks, arrangements done. There were lots of harmonies, and Gaspar's reminded me of Colin Blundstone's, one of my favorite white singers. Really soft and sultry, with lots of whispering on the notes. The vocal parts were very sliced and chopped, with lots of edits and give you the strange sensation of a human voice with a raw boat accent. five or six songs in, in 10 or 15 years, but we all found them amazing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, he already sang on fire, and, uh, and he had this idea of the vocal hook, mm -hmm. and, and we just put it together very fast. Uh, it was the last track we made for the, for the record, but from the moment we had the vocal hook, we, everything became, like, came together very quickly. We met for the first time in Xavier's house. Ready to get started, I said, let's plug this U47 on this beautiful API mixing desk and get it on. But that was not the plan. They wanted me to use my home studio with my own stuff because they needed the same sound they loved on some of my records. No problem, I said. I took the audio files and the yellow piece of paper with the lyrics on it. They gave me five days. The mastering date had already been booked. Pressure? Oh, I stay cool. I love the track. I could do it. But once in front of my AKG microphone, I struggled. I realized that I had no freedom at all. Everything was already written and arranged, from the melody to the lyrics. I've never been trained to think other people's songs, no. I'm the kind of dude who does his own thing. So, I muted gospel a cappella and tried to sing something totally new. A new melody, straight from my heart, and lyrics inspired by the mother of my son. While it can be read on a personal level, it also refers to a world in desperate need of love. In just a few hours, using the fire instrumental, I created what would become the vocals of Love SOS. Gaspar and Xavier liked my new vocal ID, but they still wanted me to focus on the fire vocals, as the mastering deadline was getting closer and closer. That was the push that I needed to record their original song with what they wanted me to add, my technique, my sound. Shortly after, as I was busy with the fire track, Xavier called back. They needed the Love SOS a cappella. It was a new worm, and they wanted to try something. And the next day, in their studio, I discovered this stressful siren with a heart-touching harmony. A mix that gives the track its double meaning. A desperate and tender ballad, or the anger of a political engagement. I was moved. It was beautiful. 
they offered me to finish the production of a track with them, and a few hours later, I sent some drums produced with TR-707, sampled and delayed on my famous ASR-10. The rest is only justice mixing and structured genius. I'd like to share with you a little story that BZP told us. He was with legendary producer Rick Rubin for a listening session of Woman. As Love SOS started playing, he immediately got up from his chair and started to dance and sing along my vocals. As a hip-hop child who used to be an MC in my teenage years, that meant a lot to me. Rubin's productions were some of my favorites back in the days. LL Cool J, Run DMC, or P.E. Well, you've been told the story of an unplanned song, like an unplanned child who becomes the sibling's darling. As this little sweetie turns two, discover a live version and a video on August 25th.